Hey everybody, and Merry Christmas! Welcome back to another NASCAR Podcast video here today. This is the NASCAR Freak, and this is the 36th review of 2022. And today, I got myself a load of diecasts for Christmas once again. And I got five 164 die diecasts of Chase Briscoe, Todd Gillen, Josh Bellicki, Kyle Larson, and Daniel Suarez. And I got my very first next-gen 124 die diecast of Chase Elliott and the Napa Chevrolet. And uh, I am very, very satisfied with what I have. And uh, let's get these diecasts out of the boxes and get these diecasts reviewed for the Christmas edition of 2022 and the 36 diecast review of this year. So here's my first next gen die cast for 124 scale. Uh, my brother actually got me this for Christmas this year. It's me on the 2022 Chase Elliott Napa Chevrolet Camaro from Hendrick Motorsports. Uh, this is my first 124 scale next gen die cast. Um, and I will say as I was uh, unscrewing it, it was very easy to unscrew with the screwdriver. Uh, and the die cast itself is very light because this is only an ARC. The Elites are heavier, which the Elites have a metal chassis. The ARCs have a plastic chassis. And uh, I will definitely tell you, quality has definitely gone down for sure. I normally don't collect the 124th die cast anymore unless if I see a race win or something like that. We're going to go ahead and take a look um, just very closely here uh, on this die cast. As you guys can see, there is the Camaro nose. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the hood right there. It's got the hood vents uh, with the Napa logo on there. Um, and I'm going to zoom in to show you the uh, windshield bender there, as you guys can see. The uh, Chevrolet and Elliott on the windshield bender there. And there's also the uh, windshield vent, as you guys can see. The little, uh, it would be a hole, but there's no hole there. It's just a little decal that has the, um, the windshield bender there. A little bit of that windshield vent uh, to cool down the inside of the car. Um, we're going to go and take a look at the left side here. Um, gosh, I really like the rims. It's really grown me for sure. As you guys can see, I'm going to show you this very closely. But there is the rim itself. You can actually see the uh, the disc brake there, which is really nice. Um, and all that stuff. Uh, but there's the left side. Here's the roof. Uh, the roof flaps do uh, apply. There it is right there. Uh, and there's also the uh, roof hatch right there that they actually mandated for all the cars. So here is the deck lid, very small deck lid, uh, and it does not have the hinges basically to open the deck lid uh, because they took that out after 2017 for the ARCs in 2018 and not have that open anymore. There's the back in there, uh, there's the back windshield bender with Elliot's name on there with the, uh, with the adjustments. They're not, uh, there's no track bar in the next gen car to let you know, but those are the adjustments to actually adjust the uh, the shocks and stuff, the pressure in the shocks and all that stuff. And the hydraulics, I would say. But here is the back with the diffuser there, as you guys can see. And there is the right side of the die cast here, same size left. And if you guys are looking for the Chase Elliott 124 score die cast, uh, I actually would recommend you guys get in the Elite Diecast because I'm going to show you the bottom of what it looks like with the ARCs. Look at this. I'm going to show you the bottoms. Literally nothing. <laughs> just nothing. Just an undershield. Um, and it's very lightweight. So um, if you guys want quality, I definitely would recommend you guys get the Elite Diecast. Uh, the hood, I don't even know if I really want to show you. I guess I will. Uh, it would actually take me a moment to get the hood open. I don't know exactly. But uh, if I try to show you all in one, eh, never mind. But if you guys have pretty much seen uh, Race Craze, uh, Race Craze is a guy that reviews 124 score diecasts on YouTube. Uh, he will show you the differences between the ARCs and the Elite diecasts. Uh, go to his channel, Race Craze. I'll probably um, put this, put it as a subtitle on the video. If you guys want to see more of 124 score diecasts uh, reviews, uh, Race Craze definitely does a great job with that. But otherwise, that is it for the Chase Elliott 124 score diecast. We're going to go on to the 164 score diecast, basically, which I've been really most passionate about. And uh, review um, Chase Briscoe's Ford Performance Ford Mustang for Short House Racing. So here is the 2022 Chase Briscoe Ford Performance Racing School Ford Mustang from Short House Racing. Very nice die cast and a very simple paint scheme. Really like it. We're going to go ahead and take a closer look at it right here. Starting up the front. There is the Ford Mustang nose. Ford and Ford Performance Racing School on the hood with the uh, blue stripes going down the uh, hood there as well. Ford and Briscoe on the windshield bit there, as you guys can see. So here is the left side. 
It's got a uh, big old fat blue stripe with a couple blue stripes going down uh, the sides of the car. Here's the roof. Ford Performance Racing School on the uh, roof sponsor there. Raz roof sponsor. Here's the uh, Declan in the back. Both say Ford Performance Racing School and Brusco on the back windshield mounted there, as you guys can see. Here's the right side of the die cast here, same size left. If you guys are looking for the uh, Chase Brisco Ford Performance Racing School die cast, I recommend you guys get it. And we're going to go on to the next die cast, which will be on the 2022 Todd Gillen Boot Barn Ford Mustang. So here's the 2022 Todd Gillen Boot Barn Ford Mustang from Farm Motorsports. Very nice paint scheme and a nice die cast overall. It's got black, red, and white, my three favorite color combination right there. And it's got uh, American flag on the hood and so as well as on the sides. We're gonna take a little bit of a closer look at it right here. Starting out with the front, there's the Ford Mustang nose, boot bar on the hood, with a little bit of a uh, American flag uh, fading right there. Really, really nice. Uh, Ford and Gillen on the windshield band there, as you guys can see. And here is the left side. Uh, a little bit of black and red and white, and with a little bit of American flag, you guys can see in that as well. Very, very beautiful. Here's a uh, roof right here, boot barn, and also a little bit of a paint chip. Line up quality control as always. There's Gillen as um, on the uh, back windshield bit of there, and as you guys can see on the deck one in the back, there is boot barn back there. Rookie stripes, very nice. He will not be a rookie next year, he'll be in the sophomore season. Here is the right side of the die cast here, same size left. And if you guys are looking for the boot barn, Todd Gillen die cast, I recommend you guys get it. And we're going to go on to the next die cast, which will be on the 77 of Josh Balicki. So here's the Josh Balicki 2022 Zygabler.com Chevrolet Camaro from Spire Motorsports. Uh, Zygabler, Zygabler, I have no idea how to say that, but uh, we're going to go ahead and take a closer look on this die cast here. Very nice die cast. Nice paint scheme overall. We're going to take a closer look at it. Starting with the front, here's the Camaro nose. Um, Zygabler Auto Group, or Auto Group Zygabler. I don't know how the world you would go with that, but I'm going to go with Auto Group Zygabler for now. Uh, Chevrolet and Blicky as the windshield banner there on the front. Here's the left side of the die cast right here. And here's the roof. There's a little bit of a uh, fading yellow, as you guys can see. It fades up to being bright yellow in the front and a little bit of darker yellow, or looks like orange, all going toward the back. Really nice there from the now. Blicky, the uh, back windshield banner there. There's nothing on the deck one, and there's Team Zygoter on the back. Here's the right side of the die cast here, same size as the left. And if you guys are looking for Josh Blucky, I recommend you guys to get him. Uh, he's a brand new driver for the next gen, uh, next gen cars. Uh, recent brand new driver, I would say. Uh, I had 30 uh, until up to this point now. I have 31 drivers. Josh Blucky adds up to be the 31st driver I have in my uh, driver lineup. So very, very nice in my collection there. Uh, but... That's it basically for the Josh Blake diecast. We're going to go on to the next diecast, which will be on the Kyle Larson Xfinity Series car that he ran at Watkins Glen and actually won with. It's not the exact race version, but it is the exact paint scheme. But uh, we're going to go over to Kyle Larson's HendrickCars.com Chevrolet for NASCAR Xfinity Series. So here's the 2022 Kyle Larson HendrickCars.com Chevrolet Camaro from the NASCAR Xfinity Series from Junior Motorsports. My goodness, I said that gosh dang fast. But uh, here's the diecast here. Very nice diecast, nice paint scheme. We're going to go take a look at it here. Uh, by the way, he did win in this paint scheme at Watkins Glen. We're going to take a closer look at it now. Here's the Camaro nose. Hendrickcars.com on the hood. The big old Xfinity band that you guys can see. It doesn't have uh, the name alongside of it because he was a cup driver going into the Xfinity series. So it's pretty much leeching at this point. Um, bushwhacking for the Bush Series fans out there. And here is the left side. It is very, very similar to his... Paint scheme last year and so as well as this year. I know the number placement doesn't make it, you know, uh, doesn't do its justice. But I would say this paint scheme is exactly the same as he did last year but on an Xfinity Series car, I would say. Here's a roof right here. Hiring text on the roof as a roof sponsor. And then there is the deck on the back. HendrickCars.com, both on the deck on the back. Larson as the back windshield end there, as you guys can see. And here is the right of the die cast here, same size left. There is a paint chip, by the way, as you guys can see that. 
And if you guys are looking for the Kyle Larson Xfinity Series diecast, I recommend you guys to get it. Uh, there has not been one made in a very, very long time, since 2015, I believe, and that was with uh, the Chip Ganassi um, Kyle Larson days. Um, and that was the last Kyle Larson Xfinity Series diecast that was made. So that's very crazy to think about. Um, but here is one in 2022. Very nice. I surely recommend you guys get it. I'm going to go on the last diecast in the review, which will be on the 2022 Daniel Suarez Tootsie's Chevrolet Camaro. So here's the final diecast in this review. It's going to be on the 2022 Daniel Suarez Tootsie's Chevrolet Camaro from Team Track House. And this uh, paint scheme was ran in the Daytona 500. Uh, Ross Chastain did also drive a Tootsie's paint scheme, but it was a little bit different than this paint scheme. And that paint scheme that Ross Chastain drove was at Las Vegas and they're in the playoffs. But very, very nice for Daniel Suarez's Tootsie's ride right here. We're going to take a look at it very closely. Starting off the front right here with the Camaro nose. Tootsie's Orchard Lounge on the hood. Chevrolet and Suarez as the windshield been there on the front. And here's the left right here, as you guys can see. Uh, this diecast isn't really all pink. It's actually pink and a little bit of purple as well. Very, very nice. I actually really did not catch that until now. Here's the roof right here. Tootsie's as roof sponsor. Uh, two Tootsie's logos there. Suarez on the back one should be there. And you guys can see in the deck lid there is Tootsie's. And on the back, Nashville Music City. Here's the right side of the diecast here. Same size left. And that is it for Daniel Suarez for the Tootsie's Chevrolet Camaro for this year. If you guys want to go... And get the diecast. I recommend you guys to get it. Uh, and uh, and that's it basically for the Christmas diecast review edition for the 36 review of 2022. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I want to just wish you guys a Merry Christmas again. I know you guys probably won't be seeing this uh, until late maybe because I know you're spending time with your family and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, thank you guys so much uh, just for your guys' support this year and so as well for watching. Make sure you guys like and comment, subscribe. And... Uh, I probably think this one might be the last diecast review of the year. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for watching throughout the year. I know I did not get up to 40, you know, 43 reviews or so uh, as of last year. But hey, I was very close. Um, you know, I'm very happy I got some next-gen diecast for you guys, the review. And this has been the NASCAR Freak here. Signing out. God bless. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy Holidays.